I don't know. Have anybody sucked your toe before? They are penetrating and they are sucking your toes. Have you experienced it before? But you see, the real wives. Oh, go all down. <laughs> Must be that every time, if you want to do any po any position, every time, it's like this. Why? Okay, good evening and welcome to another episode of Late Night with Soul Spice. Now, the thing is this, right? I love trouble. And when I say trouble, trouble is my middle name. When they say there's a certain way to do things, I always want to do it the other way around because, trust me, I don't fix into the box, right? So, someone once said that there's a particular way you need to sit in front of TV when you're having a program. But I always tell them, when it comes to Late Night with Soul Spice, when it comes to sex, there are no rules. The rule is this. How do I want to lay? How do I want to spread my legs? At what point do I need to spread in what way? And at what angle do I need to spread the leg? Am I doing a 90, a 180, or a 360? So it depends on what you want. But anyways, I know a lot of them behind camera are always wondering, ah, this woman. Somebody told me to calm down and leave the girls. But what he doesn't understand is I'm also a girl in town. And I refuse to leave town. Town is me. I am town. So, if you're just joining, I said, welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. I'm, I know you are wondering, why would anyone want to just lay on the couch to start a show? The truth about tonight's show, it's the fact that I'm here. Not to attack anyone, but to let you know the mistakes we make in bed. Yeah. Men, gather here. Right? I'm going to be starting with you guys first. Some of the mistakes you make in bed, the mistake we women make in bed, I'm going to be telling you tonight. So tonight's going to be all about you and me. Now, if you know that at any point in time, I get to talk about your mistake or whatever you think you're doing that you think is right, right, please just think about it. Now, this is to also say that the fact that I'm, I'm going to be saying this is a mistake does not mean it's going to be the same for everyone. What I might see as a mistake might probably be saving some people's lives. For marriage is a home, right? So I'm going to explain that to you as time goes on. So, yes, please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice on Instagram and also at Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore on Instagram. And don't forget, yay, Soul Spice Hangout is here. Um, we'll be having our first hangout. Now, this is not an event like that. This is just, mm, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but it's going to be. A Saturday of fun, a Saturday of pleasure, a Saturday of orgasm, a Saturday of a fantasy coming to reality, right? It's just going to be us, right? You, me, and every other person. Um, what I'm going to say is whatever happens there, stays there. If you know what that means, right? Please don't come with the message I'm going to be getting down. Mm -mm. Nobody's seen anybody's penis. But we are going to be going so erotic that you will not be normally good. That's that's just the plan, right? For us to be able to talk about sex, do whatever it's want to do about sex, you know, um, be open about sex basically and have fun based on what sex should be, right? So that's what the hangout is going to be like. So if you want to know more about this hangout, please send me a DM and then we'll take it from there. Yeah. Now back to the show, right? So now we're talking about mistakes we people make in bed. Now the reason I'm using the word people is because we're going to talk about the men mistakes and the mistakes for women. I do not want to look as if, oh, today I've come to talk about, oh, mistakes, 10 mistakes men make in bed, and I go home. And the men will be like, eh, so I'm not the one making mistakes. What about her? So because you're a woman, I'm talking about um, the other person, no. I'm going to be talking about both parties. So, sit tight, relax. So find out what are these mistakes exactly? How do you control these mistakes? How do you survive without making this mistake you know, part of who you are, and exactly what are the basics of these things I'm going to be calling mistakes. Why would I, in any point, say these things are mistakes or these acts are mistakes, right? So, I know you want to know, so let your friends, family, your neighbors know that so Spice is here again tonight. If you want to put it on your IG, if you want to put it on your Twitter page, call out people and let them know so Spice is about to Get down real good, right? So it's all about the mistakes we make in bed. What are the mistakes you think you make in bed? That would be my first question to you, right? What are the mistakes you think you make in bed? So think about it.
right? Once I go on a break, just think about it. And then when I come back, I probably will be opening the phone line all through today for you to tell me what your mistakes are, what you think your mistakes are, whilst I also explain the mistakes we made based on the man's aspect and the woman's aspect. Remember, both parties do make mistakes. And trust me, I try and make mistakes. I still make mistakes. Don't be deceived. I still make mistakes. It's part of who we are, right? We're human, and that is it. So this time we're taking a break, and when we come back, we'll be diving straight into the mistakes we make in bed with our partner, for our partner, or by our partner. Don't go in with by it. We'll be right back. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. And tonight is all of our mistakes, trust me. Um, one thing I always tell a lot of clients is this, right? Whatever you see as a mistake probably might be that thing that might work for you sometimes in sex. Because with sex, there basically are no rules on how you should do things, on how um, things should run. Um, the truth about the art of lovemaking or art of fucking or art of penetration or art of having sex, whatever what you want to use, is the fact that you do it your way. You do it how it works for you. You know, what really works for you, what suits your personality, what suits your, your body, right? And what really... So you see, with sex, it can be very odd and it can be very scary. And this is basically because what we say or what we tend to be terrible, right, in the bedroom, for some people is eternal. And that's how bad it can be. It's a turn on, right? So imagine you say, oh, this, this, this doesn't work. This should be done in the bedroom. But for some people, when you do those things, their orgasm level is wow, right? For some men, when you do those things, you put them on a very high stimulation level. So when it comes to sex, I'm always super careful on how to say if this is wrong or this is right. Because what I say is wrong probably is the right thing for another person, right? So I'm just going to be sharing these simple mistakes. And the reason why I call these ones a mistake is because these things are the basic things I have found out over the years that has affected a lot of women and men in the bedroom. Now, when I say a lot of women and men, I'm talking about the set of people I've been able to coach, the people who have been around me, people who have, you know, uh, who have reached out to me one time or the other in the last almost a decade that I've been doing this, right? Now, this set of people, I have come to collate these few things to say, ah, this thing is one big mistake that we, uh, we a lot of time to you know create in our relationship, in our marriage. Now, when I say relationship marriage, please note, this is not strictly for married people. The reason why I'm saying strictly for married people is because people who are not married are also having sex, and we all know about it. So let's stop all that um, forming and ah, it shouldn't happen. That's not your business. Anyway, it's, it hap it's happening and it's still happening, right? And nothing's going to change that. So the truth about it is. We're going to be talking about these things and we'll see how we can go about them. Now, I'm going to be starting from the women's point of view. What should I start from the guys' point of view? I'm just thinking, where do I want to start? Men or women? Because so many times when we talk about sex, it's women, 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 women. No. If you see sex guy in a woman, you see this one in a woman, and let's have, let's talk about sex, women. Let's talk about family, women. Who is going to train our men? Who is talking to these men? Who is letting them know, oh, this is right, this is wrong, you know, this is okay, this is not okay, this is not too okay, this is totally unacceptable. Who is telling these men these things? You hardly have a men's round table kind of thing. It's usually women, these women, that when it comes to sex. So, should I start with the men? Or start with women? I'm just, I'm just thinking. I have a lot of men in the studio. If I say men, I hope this will not come and beat me up. No one beats me up. They say they will beat me. I'm starting with men. Let me see what anybody can do. I'm putting it to them. Oh, yeah. Try me. Um, chi. Now that chi go chi when I'm done. Let me see what they can do. Now, number one. 
men gather here. Inshallah, I'm sure women are moving closer to TV more because they're like, eh, hey. but yeah, let me listen. Ah, I say, God, I didn't say you should come closer now. See, these men are coming closer. So they didn't want to know that, that they, you know you fuck up, but we want to just need to tell you what your fuck up is. I mean, mm. okay, number one. So many at times, right? I'm not going to, so please note, let me say this. Whatever I'm going to be talking about, you know, based on mistake, does not mean it goes around to all men. What I'm just trying to say, a lot of men do these things, right? Um, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously. So please, don't judge them or judge me. So say so spice said. Number one, why do you people, eh, men, listen, why do you skip for play, go, 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 I want to know. What's your intention? Why do you skip for play? Somebody saying Angela Lee. Angela Lee call. Angela Kidoni. Why would you even skip for play for crying out loud? It is very annoying. I think it's high time we get to that point where we, you know, probably maybe take money from men, seize their khaki, or what? A, or what can you do to a man that will pay that man no more? You know, maybe he gets to pay you. Anytime he, he, he skips for play, you know, um, you take his khaki. Let him find another way to the office. That will not work. They'll just over, 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 go come. These men, they have money, they don't understand. And what can you do to hurt them? If you say sex, I will not advise sex. Don't use sex as punishment at all. Food, don't use food as punishment. Ah, what can you do to your man self? Do you even know what you can do to them self? I don't know. If you carry face on, you go see so far. Anyways, dear men, can you please stop skipping foreplay? Because how do you have sex without foreplay? And that's where I stand, right? So why on earth would you at any point in time skip foreplay? What are you looking for? How do you want to sleep on a bed without laying the sheets, without putting the duvet, without arranging the pillows, right? You just see a mattress and you dive into it. Line shaker. Ah, fear God, man. It won't cost you guys anything to truly and basically do for play. You know, uh, for Christians, right, and for Muslims, it's so bad that even your Bible and Quran talks a lot about for play. You're doubting me, right? Mm, at what point did the Bible talk about for play? Go and read Psalms of Solomon, you will know. How the Bible talked about, you know, making use of the neck, the nape of the neck, you know, the breast, how you expect to suck the breast till death, right? How you expected to respect, you know, love the chest, you know, look at the skin, you know, play with these things. So the Bible has made it clear that you see, see, the Bible is not keen on penetration. You know? Go and read well. The Bible is not keen on penetration. The Bible is keen on for play. The Bible talked about romance so bad that it was comparing, you know, the timing, the skin to the sun, you know, where to do it. The Bible not said do it in the bedroom. Oh. It did not say do it in the bedroom. Mm -mm. Yes, there are some parts where the Bible talked about people having sex in the bedroom. But in Songs of Solomon, go and check. It's more in the vineyard, in the garden. How it's connecting nature to your skin, to your sexual act, to your body. And so tell me why on earth you want to skip for play. And you think you enter heaven. Abu, why would you skip for play and you are hoping that you go to heaven? Caleb, ask yourself. You like it, but it's not any how girl. Why would you even want to get laid by any how girl in the first place? Why would you want to go naked by any how girl? Why not your woman? Sometimes you just want to cheat. Some just happen. Mistake. So you come out close, mistake. You kiss, mistake. You suck, mistake. You finger, mistake. You penetrate, you ejaculate, mistake. Some mistake, hey, God. Men, men no can't even get shame again. He's standing for you people now. 
How do you how do you call a sexual experience a journey mistake? Uncle, you kiss. Okay, let's assume it's kissing mistake. Maybe at that point you were just carried away, right, by the beauty. Now you took her inside bra, press breast, press nipple. Now still mistake. Yeah. Right? Okay. You took time to remove. Okay, let's say no. You even bring her breast for inside clothes. You can't remove clothes. It's a basic, basic carry, carry so it's of... Remove pants. Of the... Go down. Two heads. Sock. No. Finger. That's what I said. If kissing is a mistake, how do you say prevention is a mistake? It's not a mistake, guys. Yeah. Just... He said it could be a mistake. You remove belt, you unbutton, you zip down. Three things. <laughs> Can't remove trousers, remove boxers, and you're still freaking telling me it's a mistake. Dear me. You dear see? Caleb, it's what? Caleb. Okay, dear Caleb, yeah, dear I'm Caleb I'm squad. Yeah, yeah. Really? Call names. Trust me, these guys in the studio, they are something else. They are not normal at all. Dear me, please stop skipping for play. I, I'm hearing someone say, what exactly does for play? It's not just to have sex. No, it's not just to have sex. Kissing is for play. Sucking is for play. Nibbling is for play, licking is for play, fingering is for play, you know, caressing is for play, touching, sucking of the toes. Some people are some people have um, um their toe fetish set of people, right? Where they love to suck on toes. I don't know, have anybody sucked your toe before? They are penetration, they are sucking your toes. Have you experienced it before? Like down your leg will be on um your leg will be on uh, you know on 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 what do you call it now? Your leg will be this high. Towards the, pe the person's mm -hmm. mouth, right? Probably the person is on his knees, yeah. right? Caleb, yeah. you get it, right? You understand, right? Yeah. And then they are penetrating you, and then they are sucking your toes one after the other. Ah! And then you are asking me, what is for play? Uncle Shewa, okay. They are sucking your toes, or they are penetrating, they are sucking your fingers. Hey, God. Can you, can you relate? Can you leave Joey? We're, we're talking about men. We're, we're not, leave Joey out of this. Yes, Karim. Can you relate sucking of fingers and toes? That's not your word. It's really not so. So, toes, no, so sucking of toes and fingers is really not a fetish. If you do it once in a while, it becomes fetish if you have to do it every time. Yeah, or, or, or drilling and fingering the butthole at the same time. Yeah. Caleb, be like that, right? So you can finger butthole and you can suck toes. Which is cleaner? Fingering is cleaner. That's sucking the toes for someone who just had a bath. And fingering the butthole. You prefer everything. You. <laughs> one is going to your, one is going to your finger. So what happens to that finger afterwards? You go and wash your hands. So after washing your what happens in your fingers? Under your nails, what goes wrong? I'm just trying to bring it to your reality, yo. That even two days after, you can still be there. Don't be deceived. Mm. Number two mistakes. These men, this set of men in the studio make. I'm not generalizing. I'm just saying these men in the studio, excluding one handsome man. I have one handsome young man that I'm in love with. You will not, you will not leave him alone, Karim. I know he's not going to finger bottle. He's going to insert in bottle. That's his own. He's going to insert in bottle. He's not going to finger. This one, I will penis go enter bottle for, for, for Israel. Leave Israel. Now, full penis go enter. Anyways, number two mistakes a lot of men make in bed is orgasm. 
You don't even wait for her to get an orgasm. You don't even bring her to the land of pleasure. You are so much in a hurry, you just want to ejaculate. And that can be very annoying. But then again, do I blame these men? No. I blame a woman who does not know how to control her man not to come until when she's ready for him to come. They're two different things. You don't make a man ejaculate until you are ready for him to ejaculate. Which means you need to study your man. You need to understand his breathing pattern. You need to know when he's about to come. You need to when that thing starts to touch and his, the screw in his head starts to come off and he's losing it. You need to know when to loosen it back or screw it back. So which means that it's not just about opening your leg and then, ooh, 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 ooh. No. You have to understand their breathing pattern. When the breathing starts to increase, know that, okay, he's no longer here. He's moving to another level. When the man starts to misbehave, he cannot hear you again. He's choking and saying, Daddy, Daddy, stop. He cannot hear you. He's no longer there. He's no longer there at that point. So at that point, when you know how to monitor and understand their ejaculation um, journey, it's easier for you to cut it short. And so you know he's about to get there. You know that in his head. He's, he's feeling he's enjoying his... Auntie, just shift your waist. Let the penis fall out. You see some men will be angry. Okay. Mm. Because they are close. But you see, you can actually control a man and not make him come until when you are ready, when you are fully satisfied. You need to learn when to insert. You need to learn when to stop. You need to learn when to get ready. You need to learn when to go. The traffic-like technique. You need to learn those techniques. Because if you do not stop these men sometimes, they are one way traffic people. Fiam. When they feel the wetness, fiam. And they start to feel the warmness, the heat, and the softness. Oh, God. They are gone. It's like a fish. They forget. They lose. They not men of what? Young men. You are what? You don't even know what sex is now. You are not having sex now. How many have you had sex in your life? I don't think you have that up to a thousand times. That's my point. So you cannot quantify the fact that... No, no, you cannot quantify the fact that you have, you have slept with maybe four or five girls in your year, right? Over the last... Um, I'm not, you know, in all your years, right? I'm, just saying, I'm not saying you're still a good girl, right? I'm just saying four or five girls. In all your years, right? Over someone who is constantly knocking almost every week. Do you get... So you might not, you might not last, you might last longer because you, you don't have any problem. When you have kids... You have to provide, you have to parent, you are coming home, you're doing everything. If you can still maintain what you maintain now, then you can say you're good in bed. Because reality will set in. That's why I find a lot of men in marriage, their sex life dives down because those men get carried away with the stress of the day, stress of work, you know, um, them trying to do one or two things. They're thinking of their targets, they're thinking of paying school fees, they're thinking of house rent, and they're thinking of, oh God, I'm in traffic, I just want to go home to sleep. I see I have this thing, this project to submit. I see I have this thing to... And then you now come to say, I want to knock. And so a lot of times, men at that point in time, a lot of them, not, more, not all, a lot of them at that point, they just want to knock to take out that stress. So they don't have that patience to say, okay, you know what, let's have for play, let's kiss and caress, you know, let's, let's take time to do all the doings and all. So how do you perceive sex? I'm talking about married people though. I'm talking about you that are not married though. Yeah. See, sex before marriage, when sex is marriage. Yeah, I'm saying like, the way you perceive sex, like right from, like right from. No, no, even if you are, even if you are a very um, erotic person, you like foreplay and everything. In marriage, there is no way you want to sustain it. A lot of men wake women up 6 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m. to have sex. And you, th you think a lot of men have sex not be doing foreplay at that time? Yeah, yeah.
You should go. You should go for four plane. It's easier said though until you marry you. I'm telling you for a fact. These these are like I said. These are things I have collated in in all my years, right? So you're saying for every six years when you wake up and you want to have sex with your wife, you would go on foreplay first. Probably give her head, suck her boobs, do the proper thing before penetration. Is that what you're saying? Anyways, I put it to you, Hakim. Write it down today. That is not possible, especially as a married man. Foreplay first every time will not even come to play. Especially when you are just waking up, your penis is already hard. See, foreplay is when you are still processing yourself and you are both putting yourself in the mood. At this point, you are, you are waking up with a hard on penis. You don't need any stimulation again. Stimulation don't deal, but you are ready. Because of the hormones flowing through you. So you are waking up with a penis where don't strong kaka kaka. All you need to do at that point in time is insert. And you are good to go. So you want to talk about foreplay at 6 a.m.? On this, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to be leaving Hakim to his own when he gets married and, you know, he spends five years and he has sustained this. Then he can come back to tell me it's okay to have foreplay every time, be 3 a.m., be 6 a.m. But then to all those married women who understand, to all those married men who know that, hmm, they can't do it without inserting at 3, 4 a.m., just ask for forgiveness. Like, why on this are you going to be using prick to wake me up when I'm about to sleep or when I'm deep in my sleep? Why? 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 Why can't you just touch me and romance me and turn me on and make me make me mourn for my sleep? Bring me to life with mourning before you insert. But instead, you just lubricate yourself and insert. And then the woman is just, mm, mm, and then she's waking up this one and touching. Did you have sex? Is there spam day? May God forgive you. Make your woman's orgasm your priority. I understand sometimes you might want to make it happen, but if she's not into it, she's not into it. So how do you make her orgasm your priority? All you need to do is make her your priority. Make her go on that journey. Worship that body. Now, when I say worship, it doesn't mean you have to go slow. Because when we say worship, people think you have to be slow. So some women like it back, back, back. So I mean, if you want to even touch that, you they prefer you hitting them. So that's another technique. So it's not for everyone. It should be for those who can who can um, who can relate to pain and pleasure at the same time, right? Some people relate to pain and pleasure. Some people just pleasure. Some people are in between. But you see, some people without the extreme pain only. If you don't give them a slap, if you don't punch them, if you don't do this, they can't be in the mood. Sorry, you can't change them. They've been programmed that way, except they are really to change themselves. So on this, I'm going to take a break, and when I come back, we'll be talking more about mistakes you guys make. In bed, not all of you, but most of you don't go with Soul Spice. We'll be right back. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. If you're just joining, sorry, 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 you have missed a whole lot. But then again, let me not make you feel bad too much because tonight is all about telling people, especially our men for now, men, right, the mistakes they make in bed. Um, this is not to say all men do it, but this will say categorically that so many of you do it. Especially the married ones. So one thing we've, all, we've, we've also found out is when a man is not married, people like Karim, they will tell you, I can have foreplay anytime. I will always do foreplay before penetration. But it's when you're married. <laughs> I don't know remember so far his voice. Uncle Karim. She had a foreplay. You tend to do it. Keep it that way. Well, do what... <laughs> so, so, so the thing is, it's not like it's difficult, right? But you see, there are times, so if you really want to look at sex the way it is, the only time you're allowed to go down sexually without foreplay is when you're having the quickie. Because with the quickie, you're not expected to have time. You're expected to just, you know, have it like... Is it before you snap your hand, quickie is done. That's how it's expected to be, right? Now, for foreplay, foreplay is just a process of putting the woman in the mood. Now, don't forget, a man that wakes up with a hard on, during his sleep, right, at the point of waking up, his body has prepared him. 
and so they wake up with a hard on. And so a man even touching his strong penis alone. Is it not that it's made that woman? Ah, no, no. Ah, ah, walking in now. Why does this go like that? A whole weapon like this. You now watch it go. You have to shoot. And at that point of the brain telling that man you have to shoot, because touching it alone is enough sensation to the brain. No? Like, ah, see this thing now. Nah, no, you have to shoot. And at the point of shooting, the man knows fully well, right? Conscious or unconscious, that if he goes down, or if he starts to say, okay, let's do um, romance, kiss the woman, you know, massage, the penis will drop. Oh. It will drop. You know, they send you. So most times, they want to maintain that hard on. And the best they can do is touch you one or two, put lubricant, and for the good ones, they even help you with lubricant. See the crazy ones? They are only bad. They just like, rub it. You just start inside, inside of you. Whilst you are asleep, deep in your sleep. And it's very rare for you to see a man say he wants to wake his wife up. Babe, babe, we are wake up now. I'm in the mood. Let's have sex. That alone says they turn off. Like, did you just come wake me up to have sex? Are you okay? Because I'm sleeping. But you see, there are times where some men would wake you up with a penis. If that man is good, you see, halfway down the line, with all the anger, like, oh, I want to sleep now. Ah, that's how to feel. Hmm? 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 Before you know your money. Your money. Which means the man needs to be good for you to get to that point. But if you are dealing with like a two minutes man, you know that that woman is a 30 minutes woman. You're on your own. Right? So it's not like it's a bad thing. But the truth is, when it becomes constant, it becomes a terrible thing, basically. Because there are times women just want you to penetrate. No foreplay. Sometimes, don't even use lubricant. Just go in like that, dry. Because the, the point of entry, when you insert it alone, is another pleasure for some women. But you see, you cannot sustain that kind of thing every time. Once in a while, it's fine. But if you do it again, there's a third day, she'll start to think of the pain, the scratches, the cuts she's getting from the pain trouble. When it's a once in a while thing, when the occupy is an adventurous day, you just want to go wild, you know, want to do crazy things. You're good to go. So that's 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 it. Now another thing, a lot of men do. A lot of men, right? And I'm basically saying a lot of men because I'm not trying to generalize, right? Is the fact that you do not let your women live their fantasies. And I've seen this a whole lot in my DM. I've seen a whole lot on my page. You do not let men live their fantasies, and that's a problem. How on earth would you not let a woman... No, no, no. I mean, men don't let women live their fantasies. For instance, a woman says... So there are a lot of married women who want to have a threesome. A lot. You know yourself. A lot. And I don't fool my dream for a lot of plenty. Ah! There are plenty. They want to try out a threesome. Or try out making out with another woman. But you see, those kind of things... To tell your husband, say, fear will catch you. And if you have a man who says, okay, let's have a threesome now. That's, that's really not a big deal. You now say, ah, but that threesome, you would prefer two guys who and you. Because you want to experience double penetration. You know, man, you share a with two guys. So another guy will be touching my wife and be touching me too. Does he want to die young? But this same man will not object to two women and themselves. So whatever is good for you, it's good for me. I always say any couple, you want to have a threesome, let the wife pick first. Let her have two guys. If you want, you can do two women. But you want to do two women, you want to hold two breasts, suck one, finger one, do everything. But you don't know what another man to hold your wife. No, I do my giant. Is it fun? Let's have fun together. Because I don't understand why men would say, no, this is okay for me to do, but it's not okay for you to do. No, that's not marriage. Whatever you can do, we should be able to do it together. That is marriage, right? So let women live their fantasies. If a woman says, I want to go to the strip club, please take her there. Let her have that experience. Don't say, eh, eh, you know, now um, you are married, and now you, are, eh, you have children. Who take care of the children? Go calm down. We don't. Those children will not die. They will survive. They will survive. 
And so the mindset of, you know, women not being able to open up basically on what they want or how they want it or where they want and when they want it is another problem. A very big one. Now, another mistake our men make, our men. Some especially people where our men. <laughs> you see this mistake? Ah, I hear it a lot. Uncle, why must it be that every time, if you want to do any, any position, every time, it's like this. Why? Every time, it's for a woman to lie down. You now come on top and do, 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 do. You raise her leg up, do, 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 do. You know, there, every time on the bed. Every time, missionary, sir. You don't change position. If you don't, if you don't put the legs like this around your neck, you do it like this, or you spread it like this. You know, there, every time. Why? Why missionary? Is that the, mission, the position I was giving you from heaven? Is there no other position again? Because I don't understand why he has to be missionary every time. You do just one position. Caleb, you feel it, right? You know. Because that's what you do. Oh, you're on his doggy every time. So, this is Caleb's own. How do you like a doggy, Caleb? Basically. Do you like the normal dog? So, this is housewife. I'm sorry. You know, I'm also a housewife. But you are you Pudusha, right? So they, them, um, Caleb said doggy. There's housewives now. Not those, not those funky housewives like me. Those one, those housewife, housewife, right? That, re that refuse to open their eyes in, in bed, right? So for them, let me bring this down. Now, for them, what they do is this. Housewife doggy. It's like this. It does like this. We'll be giving them. They'll be taking. Take it. Take it. Caleb, Abby. Or they do like this. Eh, eh, no, that's not housewife style now. I'm talking about housewife style. That's how they do like this. As the man is giving us, she's following. He's like, I don't give us, she's following. But when you talk about the wives that know what it means to be a wife, the pros, right? Now, there are different levels to this. So this is the normal, you know, wife level. Wife number two can do like this. Yeah. Right? Now, if you are sitting like that, that's even the... That's, that's, that's a... That's a... That's, that's a newbie. A newbie style, right? But you see, the real wives... Oh, go all down. Right? And when they go all down, rather than you just stay and be collecting like this, you are meeting him halfway, right? You are taking it back. You are not waiting for him to only dish out like a lot of you usually do. You are meeting him halfway to also give it back to him. So the thing is this. If you have a man who wants one position, you can give him different levels to that position. Most of the styles we do today started from missionary. See it anyhow you want to see it. From cowgirl to reverse cowgirl to face me to hugging, most of them, even when it comes to standing, and pe most of them are just missionary in another form. They are basically missionary in another form. So, Caleb, why are you, why are you, why are you, why are you happy and honey? I said, I said there's another type of doggy. <laughs> what, what type of doggy again? Uh, oh, with her legs up. That's not doggy again, now. Nah. No, dog is when you're on your falls. That's not doggy. That's that laying on the maybe dining table or by the sink. All the uh, adventure sex. Doggy, you have to be on your falls. You have to be like a dog. So it depends on how adventurous you want to be, right? For some people, see, for the maniacs, like, I don't think what it, ballet. People that are weird. They can actually stand on their fingers. And that's the height of it. If you if you are doing dog and your fingers, you are not normal. You are not a human being. No. They don't you can never be a human being. Ah, mm -mm. you are a spirit being. But for the normal people, I always say use your five 
you know, fingers stay flat on your palm. That way you can sustain your weight, right? You lock it in with your elbow and then you can sustain your weight. But if you mistake it, it stay on your fingers. Bo. Now you bear one, two. Your fingers are not, oh, don't break. You don't break. And God will let, let one finger go and mistake these sheets. So I don't ask you, what, what, what happened to you? What, what, what were you doing, you know? Did you hit your hand? And I said, no, they were actually fucking me. You know, that was what happened. May God forgive you. Anyways, dear men, please change position. We are tired of Uncle Caleb. We are tired of Doggy. We are tired of Doggy. I'm just telling you. Now, when we say we are tired of the same positions, what we are doing is we are trying to let you know we are tired of the same environment, the same emotions all the time, right? If you're going to be doing doggy, so just as you have this place, right? You have done doggy here. Nothing stops you from doing this, right? Nothing stops you from doing this, right? That's what you're saying. Who is your mommy? I always like to ask Caleb in this studio because he likes to, you know, say things that make me, eh, who are you talking to? You know, so there are other ways, right? If you're, um, say you're using your bed or you're using your couch, there are other ways. You could be, do the same position in different forms, right? We've done here, right? I can still do here and still come this way. There are no rules to say, oh, it has to be the other way. And for, for anything you're doing, or whatever position you're doing, you don't have to always stay straight. I always tell people, you can't be having sex and you are straight. Then you are not normal. It means you're not positioned well. And when you don't position, what happens is the penis starts to go to the side, right, and go inside of you, and you start to hurt. That's why I find that when you are riding, you are riding him, but you are in pain. By the time you do one or two positions, one or two movements, you are hurting. And they are wondering, oh, why now? Why is everything on top? It's painful because you are not positioning well. When you position well, you know how to, you know, form that proper position. Then we can do better. Then you can feel better. Then you can ride and rotate and, you know, do whatever you want to do. Rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise, 360, 180, 90. You can also make me beg for more. It is very easy. So, uh, the truth is, sex is not just about collecting. Sometimes you're also giving. He's giving you, you're taking your addition back. That's what real sex should be. It's not, oh, it's a man's job. No. It's not a man's job. Because the man is bringing his penis, I'm slamming it down. If he's bringing it down, I'm slamming it down. As he's going out, I'm releasing it. That's how it should be. So, even whilst it's pe penetrating, it's coming inside of you, there should be a movement of you, you know, rotating the penis. That is what it is. Right? So, dear men, Change. No, be only inside bed, on top bed, by the end of it, mm -mm, take me to the couch. Do it on the floor. You know, let me kneel by the bed. Let me kneel, let me just lay on the bed and my head is down. Don't go and knock it for ground. I'm not saying you. You know, so these are things you might want to put in place for you to know that, okay, you know what? What are those things that we need to change for us to meet ourselves halfway? Because it goes along when you meet yourself halfway, when she's happy, you are happy. Forget the sex is sweet, though. But when you don't fix your bedroom, you can't have a good bedroom. It is very simple, right? Now, another rubbish thing that men like to do. Men, another rubbish. They're not enjoying it, though. As you want to come, we know you're not coming. Sometimes you laugh. You did not come, I know. You just want it to end. Just say you're not in the mood again. Just say it's not working again. Why? Why are you deceiving yourself? Why are you shouting? You know you're probably masturbated in the morning. I know that you're having sex and I know that you will not come on time. Even that coming might not come because you have come like two times in that toilet. You're not for me. <laughs> And the worst part is they are ugly when they're about to come. They will you know how. They don't move. How act? Oh my, I don't see position, my eye don't clear. Ah. When men are about to come, it's terrible. A lot of them are very terrible. You see? Ah. 
all those animalistic sounds. Is this my man? That fine boy of yesterday. I see you now be portraying your 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 level of your um um how would I put now um would I say your descendants or your I want to talk about your lineage eh? now that you are also from that side but in a human form because I still wonder why do men scream when they're about to come? Why do you go why do you become so aggressive? Why do you go all out. If a man's hand is around your throat or your neck and it's about to come, oh, just say your last prayer. Say your last prayer because they will choke you. They will choke you and they don't even, rem they don't even remember they have energy. And so you, at that point, you'll not be seeing their veins. You'll be seeing their veins. You'll be seeing all the ghost people and their veins. Akido, they don't ever come. When they are not done coming, you know, you're like, ah, I want to choke your man. You know, I'll be kissing your Oh, my love. Oh, that was good. Uncle oh, good. You almost killed me. I was close to heaven's gate. The name of you coming. So, dear me, please be coming down. Stop faking it. We know when you're not coming. We know when you don't ejaculate in us. We know when the condom is empty. We know when you did not come. We are just doing ourselves. I feel like you came. Mm -mm, you did not. I know. I know you're in this room. You would have probably had one girl yesterday or had one in the morning and the other one will come and you know, just want down to feel cool. But you will not come. And then you get to a point where even calm won't come. What you get at that point is what we call dry calm. Dry calm comes for men sometimes. There is no ejaculation. It's just air. It's just nothing. You feel like you came, but nothing will come out. But you wait till wait on the bag. The bag is not empty. Bag is not empty. So the truth is, stop faking it. If it's gonna work, let it work. And when you find yourself in that space of I'm not coming, or it's not working, rest. It's not a must you must finish sex. Or. It's not a must you must end in ejaculation. Once you feel your type, because some people will fuck for, for so bad they will sleep off. See when forced to fuck. Who will sleep your sleep? They will not wake up again. <sighs> they will not start to touch you again. Knowing that they will slip off again. You just hear them. <sighs> Uncle, when you're tired, sleep. It becomes a problem when your tiredness becomes a daily thing. Ah, my name is Check your mind, you know. Check your mind, you know, that's you. It's not that you We hope you're not going to pour somewhere. You're not coming somewhere. Because you don't come at home. Maybe you're coming. You know, you know, stop it. We know when you fake it. We, know. we might not talk, oh, but we know. Because if we that, we can feel it, we can taste it, we can experience it. The warmness of your semen, we know. So calm down. If you're not in the mood, just say, I'm not in the mood. Ah, man, I'm having a big go. Ah, I'm tired, I just want to rest. Let's know. You want to get your body back. Mm. It is when we go forgive you. Anyways, on this one, we're taking a break. And when we come back, we'll be talking more about mistakes men make in bed. I hope you get to change all of this. I hope. See you soon. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back to Late Now with Spice. If you just joined in, I want to say welcome to Late Now with Spice. All we do on this show is how bring your fantasy to reality. And tonight we're talking about mistakes men make in bed. Please note, like I said, right, this is not to say women don't have theirs. This is just me pointing out that of the man. It's raining. Like, guys, it is raining. The question is, what's your plan for this rain? If you're a married person and you live in a compound that is well enclosed, if you're a married person and you know you live with your neighbors, this is like practically past 11. And so I think it's a good time. I don't think anybody, one of man, want to come out at this time. 
No security will even want to be out at this time. Right? What are you looking for? This is the best time. Ah. So. See, I have good pimples already. I have good pimples already. I can imagine things, right? This is the best time to come out. Do you have a caller? Okay, so I'm going to open the phone lines, right, for you to call in. So let's hear from you. What are the mistakes you think you make in bed or your husband, you know, makes in bed, right? Um, I don't think I might do that of the women today because I really want to expand on these things and teach properly, right? So we might just focus on men and then we'll just plan another episode, probably maybe in two weeks' time or in three weeks' time, and then we'll focus on mistakes women make in bed, if that's fine by you, right? So as I was saying, right, I said it's raining. This is the time to go under the rain and get laid. Like you're wondering, what are you going to hold? Where are you going to stay? Do it on the car. Don't go inside the car. On the car. Grab the car. Ah, hold the car. Feel the car. Take the car. Mm. I share when I deal with nobody. I only run. I only show push. I only do kudo. Give your life to Christ. Come on. But let me not lie. Sex, sex under the rain is crazy. We have a caller, right? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello? Oh, we lost that person. So, as I was saying, right, about sex under the rain. So, um, you want to you want to do it on the bonnet, right? I love the bonnet because of the way it's structured. So, you're struggling to stay. You have to spread your hands. You know, you have to lift your leg. Ah, see. The inside of you will be warm because of the pressure. You are feeling hot inside, but you said the outside will be cold. They could also spread you on the bonnet, right? You facing up, stark naked. I'm not saying half dressed, stark naked. Anybody that comes out there, fucking, what are you coming to do outside on that drink? What are you looking for? What? So, as I was saying, you can be there, stark naked, looking up into the skies. Let the water from heaven drop on you whilst the penis is drilling you. Ah, there's enjoyment too. All of that just used to bed, bed, bed. We have not even done anything. Eh? If the trumpet should sound now, where will you end? Where? Shouts of best, shouts of best. Go and knock. And let the best blessing flow through you. Let it flow through you. You never can tell. That shower of best that is dropping now. If it's not a picky, they carry. But then they knock you on like that spam. Fiam, the shower just enter with spam. Turn baby straight. If not money, you carry. What do you mean that blessed and grace you carry? You put, leave your house, so better go out. I said that if not spirit, they pass. You carry you. You're on your own, but trust me, they don't like so I'm just joking, right? Um, sex is more of the thing you might want to do and you might want to explore, right? You might want to explore, trust me, it is a, a sweet. Sex is sweet. Very sweet. Eh? Sugar vowel. Sugar is not sweet now. Because with sugar, you taste it and with time, it's out of your mouth. But sex, even thinking about it alone, you can still come. You don't understand? That if the partner is good, you know, all this normal sex. Or if the partner is... You know, some people, they, they'll just digmatize you. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello? Okay. So that's it basically, right? Um, it's a very fantastic thing to be married or to be in a relationship with, because nobody will get married. Some people are widows. Yeah. But some out there in the perfect relationship with somebody else. Um, I, the reason why I don't always use marriage because <laughs> a lot of my people are not even having sex. So. A lot of my people are not having sex. Don't dispute. Let's just, let's just. Let's just. Hello, good evening. Welcome to late now with Soul Spice. Why now? Is it the net or is it the rain? I'm saying rain should come because of sex. Now you put rain is cutting. I don't like it. Oh, rain. Do you want to hold on? Let me finish so that. Ah. 
I'm just thinking, Sha. That I see this ring. There are a lot of things you can do under the ring. Eh? You can just park somewhere now and give you a blow job. Call in one position. Nobody will come close to your car to check who is there. Because it's raining. The car. How do you want to see a car that is not under the rain? Don't wear a jenny. What are you looking for under the rain? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello. Good evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? Hello? Can you please turn down the volume of your TV set, please? Hello? Let's give you some time so that you can hear and turn it down so that he probably would listen. Uh -huh. Okay. So we lost you there, right? So please, um, when we get to pick your call, please do, all that, do, us, do us that favor to turn down the volume of your TV set so that you can hear you clearly. Right. Um, so back to our topic for today, right? Another mistake a lot of men make. Ah, mistake. Whoa, oh, it's plenty. They come too quick. They come too quick. Tell me, they come in. Where are you running to? What is it about you? Where, 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 where are you running to? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello, good evening. Manu, where are you calling from, please? You can hear me clearly. Yes, I can hear you. May I know where you're calling from? Hello? Okay. So I think we lost him there, right? Um, okay. So please, the moment you get to pick your call, kindly turn down the volume of your TV set or just mute your TV. To make it super duper easy for everyone right i really want to hear um what your opinion about this i really want to hear if you're struggling with any of these things that i might have talked about you know and let's see how we can you know sort it in as um as fast as we can right in the short um, period that we have left right so that's it right so talking about men coming quickly um a lot of times a lot of men come too quick like you guys come too quick. Especially when you are out of sex for a while. You know, probably you've not had sex in a week or two. You've probably, maybe one person traveled, you know, or something. And then you've not had sex in a while. And when the person gets to come back, about bam, with all their full chest, with all their energy, they will just pump you. Two seconds, you can't where it's gone. And then you're wondering, okay, Lushi, I've not done anything. Like, why? Why, why would you even do that? Why? Right? So the truth is, um, don't come quick if she doesn't want you to come quick. So if you don't want to come, you need to learn the techniques of not coming quick. Your wife also needs to learn, learn the technique of how to make you not come quick. There are techniques she can use that will stop you from coming quick. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? The phone is buzzing. Can you hear me? I think it's trying to speak. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. Can you, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. May I know where you're calling from, please? I'm Abuja. Abuja. Okay. Do you have a question or you would love to join the conversation? I'm very sure. Do you want, do you have a question for me or you want to join the conversation? Do you want to ask me a question? Hello, can you hear me? Do you want to ask me a question? Yeah. Okay, please go ahead. Um, go ahead, yeah. ask, ask the question. Ask the question, I'm all ears. Okay, so I, I'm sure he can hear me. Um, I can hear him very clearly, but probably due to network, he just can't hear me. Like, network, don't just start. Don't start. Anyways, um, so, trust me, that's it basically, right? And, you know, a lot of women don't like men who come too quick because they just want to sustain to a level. 
Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Good evening. Good evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? Calling Abuja. Abuja, okay. Do you have a question or you would love to join the conversation? Hold on. Do you have a question for me or you want to join the conversation? No, I want to join the conversation. Okay, so tell me, uh, what's that mistake you think you make in bed? Do you have an idea what mistake you make in bed? My voice is not coming out clear. My voice is not... Can you hear me now? Yeah, I know you that. I said, what mistake do you make in bed that you would love to talk about? <laughs> I love you, sir. <laughs> do you have any mistake? I'm sure the man is just kind of like mistake. Like, I don't have any mistake. I'm just too perfect with my partner. Okay, if you say so, we will not say it's not true, right? Um, so please feel free to call in if you have a question or you would love to join the conversation. I know the network is messing up. And I'm very sure it's because of the rain. Um, at the same time, the network has been super, super terrible in the last few weeks in Nigeria for those who know. I think basically Africa, so to say. Right, we have okay. We have a caller. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello, Hello? good evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? Hello, hello, yeah, hello. Can you hear me? yes, I can. Can you hear me? Do you have a question for me? Come again. Do you want to ask me a question or you want or you love to join the conversation? Oh, um, I, want, I want to ask for a question. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, um, I've been in two relationships. I had a big family with the office. I don't know if I can have a little bit of it. Okay, say so you've been in a relationship and what happened to your relationship? Come on. You said you've been in with you've been in a relationship for for a while now. What happened to that relationship? I don't, I don't know what is happening to my people. They are not just serious. They are not serious. As Christians, did you just say as Christians? Okay. Did you say they are not they are not um, serious as Christians? Yeah. So what kind of woman are you looking for? A lady that is serious. Someone that is serious. Serious and what? Ma? You say you're looking for a serious person. Serious, what, what, what kind of woman are you looking for? Is what I'm asking. Serious, you want a serious person. What else? I can not hear you. I can speak now. Oh, you can't hear me. Okay, so I think we might have to let you go. You probably might have to call back because um, I don't know. And if you say you can't hear me, you probably truly can't hear me. And I would love for you to hear me so you can get the feedback of what it is I'm trying to talk about, right? So um, I think the best for me to do is go offline. Let me go on a break. So when I come back, I would have checked my mic to be sure my mic is intact. So um, please um, give me a few minutes, right? Let me go on a break. And so Spice will be right back. <laughs> Um, this program has been on for almost two hours now, and today we're still talking about mistakes men make in the bedroom. Right? We talked about a whole lot. Um, men don't change positions, you know. And I've tried my best to give different positions, even with this one couch. Right? It's going to shock you how many positions you can make from just one couch. Now, for those who now have um, 
that sex couch. I right, that one that feels like this. You can do as much as over 700, eh, no, over 75 sex positions on that couch. That's why it's called it's, it's the sex couch. You can lie on it, you can sleep, you can turn, you can stand and you know turn over, you can bend over, you can do anything. It's just a crazy one. Any position you're looking for, you'll find it. But if you don't know what a sex chair is, um, you might want to go on my page to see. It's, it's the couch I have in my store, right? Hmm. I never sanctify that jail. Just so occurred to me that I've not been on that chair, and that is that's very unlikely. Anyways, you know, so the truth is, um, you might want to do more positions. Um, we also talk about men not letting the women get for play before penetrate. you just want to penetrate and move on. We also talk about men not um you know giving that woman an organ, you just want to you know show themselves or oh, we do this, you know. Um you just want to come drop your camera and walk away doesn't speak well right it doesn't so um when we talk about these things men need to understand that you know it's not just about coming and going you can't for instance come to see you drop your camera and walk away who's going to record right the same thing in bed you cannot just get into the bedroom and want to dive in you need to do the proper process you need to bring her you know to that to that point where Wetness overflows, and then you can dive in. You can dive in. But sometimes you just go in and then you crash. And when you finish, you want to take a shower. You find that you have, um, you have scratches all over your penis. I don't even remember experiencing it before. When you are done um, with sex and you want to take a shower and you are feeling pain, Caleb, you, can, you understand, right? Caleb has experienced it before. But the way the girl was laughing, I was like, oh, God, this guy has gone to ask her without lubricant. Right, and then you have you have you have scratches, and then you are one is it is it the teeth? It's not teeth, it's dryness. It's dryness. It will scratch you. It will tear you open. That's how bad a dry vagina can be. So in case you don't know, let me just tell you now. It's a very bad experience. For instance, during sex you won't feel it. It's gonna be. It will have this tingly feel. So it's gonna be like uh, a little bit of sensitivity and sweetness. It's gonna be like it's just gonna be doing you small, 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 small. There's one who has stumped. Ah, Caleb, calm down. I know you experienced it before. The guy don't laugh, go. As if I'm bringing his, you know, his life back to reality. It's like taking Tom Tom, right? Or taking any minty sweet. And you are blowing. You're feeling Hello? it. Hello, good evening. Welcome to that now with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, network, no, not this rain. A lot of people are trying to call in, but it's so bad that they can't hear me. But I can hear them very well, though. I'm really shocked. I can perfectly hear them so well, but they can't just hear me. I'm really shocking to them. Anyways, you know, as I was saying, you know, I was talking about, you know, um, men who go in, so a dry vagina and you will be shocked at how much the vagina can scratch your penis when you now take a shower is when you now feel that hello. jesus is lord hello good evening welcome to late now with soul spice hello. can you hear me hello? hello can you hear me hello. Okay. hello good evening Okay, so this sounds like it's definitely from my end. I don't know if, if it's the rain. I don't know if it's anything in the studio, but it's very obvious that this is from our end, right? And it's something we need to rectify because all these colors can't all come in and can hear me. That's, I, I want to believe it's just probably the rain or network or something, right? So, yes, um, it's a must-have for you to have a lubricant, you know, during sex. So we talked about that. We also talked about a whole lot of things. Men should prioritize their women. You know, men should make them calm. Men shouldn't come quick. Men should delay ejaculation. You know, um, you know, basically these are the things we, you know, we talked about already. And I'm just trying to, um, you know, recap it for those who just came. Right. Another thing is, men um, usually, you know, they don't take control. 
men don't usually take control and i'm wondering if you want to be a man be a man take control if you are knocking stop all this missionary every time if you want to knock raise one leg this way knock him second leg knock him spread them knock him pull the leg close knock him you know fold the leg into two knock him like be creative now why must it be one position every time you do the same thing over and over again and then you're not bothered right so we are saying a lot of men don't take control control her control her movement control her body control her pleasure control her breathing that's the only time you can call yourself a man control her rhythm control everything and then you understand that uh, see to be a man is not an easy uh, it's not an easy thing at all i'm not talking about you know the young boys in the studio who are not married you know the small boys who are still growing hair small small you know under their armpits and in other places talking about the real you know married people the real men who are having sex constantly right um another thing i want to talk about for men i think it should be the last basically for men right is um why is it that you people men i'm saying it's not all of you but why is that most times after sex you don't want to cuddle you don't want to hold you don't want to touch some people just want to turn their back and sleep why I know a lot of women do it also. Let's not get it, you know, twisted. A lot of women do it also. They don't like being touched. Like, don't touch me. Don't come close. We don't, we don't want to let you sleep. But for crying out loud, a lot of us just want you to hug. Just want you to hold us to sleep. Like, let me sleep on your chest. You know, let me hold your penis to sleep. You know, those are the things that a lot of women want to do. But men are not interested. What's funny... So, wait, nobody has held your penis to sleep before. Are you, kid, are you kidding me? Like, she puts her head on your shoulder and she holds your penis to sleep. That's programming you. I think I, 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 need, to, I need to teach you that topic one day. Where you get to program your man in a way that every touch sends a signal that nobody will understand. That's programming. When somebody holds your penis to sleep almost every day, the day the person is on your bed, you will not be complete. You feel something is missing. So that means that woman has programmed you. You now find yourself putting your penis in between your thighs and squeezing it because you know that there's nobody to hold it. So you just want to have that feel of somebody holding it. You see why I say people are children? You have no access. Why do you want to condition? It's not you that will condition yourself. It's your partner that will condition you. I don't want to be conditioned. There is a way I can condition you. <laughs> so conditioning does not have to be through sex. And that's what we get it wrong. So for instance, let's say you lost someone. And then you are crying, oh, I lost my father. You know, and you're crying. And someone comes in. Right? Someone comes in and, you know, holds your left hand. Oh, ah, this guy, sorry for what happened. Right? Excuse me. The person says one thing and, and leaves, right? And that person comes, touches the same place, and squeezes that same, um, you know, hand again. The third person and the fourth person does the same thing. Every time anybody touches you, the what comes to your head is that moment of tears of your father. It means they programmed you. So you can program anybody, even without them knowing you are programming them. That's why you hear some people say, oh, she's been stigmatized. She can't do without that man. Some things you might not think would happen to you will probably start happening to you. When someone maybe keeps touch, okay, for instance, you're about to come. Every time you're about to come, right, just probably kiss your wife or you're about to come, hold a particular part of her body every time when you're about to come. The moment you're out of bed and you touch that same place, what comes to her head is you coming because you have programmed her. So you need to understand that technique. Now, it's not just about touching and moving on, no. There are techniques to these things, and it has a lot to do with, it's not just the physical coaching. It's a lot of ENT and NLP, your neurolinguistic, right? Your emotions, your, your connection. What you call spirituality. So it's, it's a whole lot, right? And you need to get to that point where you are in control 
of what is yours, right? And so, yes, I was talking about the last, about not the least um, reason why men, uh, no, the mistakes men make in bed. It's not you don't hug. Just cuddle. Just hold somebody to sleep. Like, you don't knock the baby. Finish. Pull her clothes. Make her feel secure. Like, you know what? I'm here for you. Daddy is here for you. Nothing can happen to you. Not kind of thing. We love me. That's it. They are gone. I understand your hormones get into play, but even with those hormones, doesn't mean. Abu, you felt it right? The way you snow. I got it right. Which means that even if you know your hormones get in the way and you probably are going to slip off, please still hold her. Hold her. It won't change anything. It won't stop you from being you. You know, some men would say, oh, so if I hold her, I, I, I feel like I'm not a man. A man should do. Let the woman continue to feel it. No. Even when you're a hard man, sometimes they calm down. They calm. Just, just send that message. Send that love. They calm. You know, like, go, 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 no, now. They are tempted. Let them just touch you. Let them massage you. Let them, you know, kiss you, pull you, you know, stimulate you. Give you blowjob. Give you head, you know. Just touch you, caress you. Probably finger you if you're into it. You know. At that moment, it's okay to be vulnerable. There's no rules on, oh, you have to be a man every time. Inside, there's no man, no. You see a man, a general that everybody's scared of on the outside. We're not getting to be a man. Yeah, no, give me no, please no. I'll be that I And then, you know, but Mr. General, if you know what happens behind closed doors, eh? Hmm. So, dear men, right, dear Nigerian men, not all of you, but most Nigerian men, Please start to cuddle, start to hold, start to just bring her close. Closer to you after ejaculation. Right? Don't just turn your back and sleep off. If for me it's I feel like it's disrespectful. I said I'm not a prostitute, so you can just sleep and turn your back. Even a prostitute say you never had like that now. Give me the money you pay. Enjoy your money finish. You know, when you are done, see all I'm say, let me finish my money. Look at the end of the she's human. But the truth is, you men are good. You men are great. You men carry the greatest of all. You men own it. You see that thing called the penis? You see that part of the body? It's a life changer. That penis gives life. That penis is life itself. So yes, we give it to you guys. You guys are good. You guys are fantastic. You guys are loving. But please, we beg of you. Don't always be a man. Sometimes relax. Let someone else pamper you. Right? Let someone else pamper Because you deserve to be pampered. You deserve to. It's not even like you drop your money. Because if you look at it, a lot of men make money and 90%, if not 95, goes to the family, goes to other people, not them. So I beg you women today, please, pamper that man. He's, he's doing a lot. He's done a lot, but pamper him because he deserves to be pampered. He deserves to be pampered. Trust me. Just pamper him. He won't take anything from you. Right? Um, so that being said, uh, we've talked about, I think I mentioned like 10, you know, um, 10 uh, mistakes in men making bed. Um, I hope you get to figure out which one belongs to you and then you can work on it, right? Uh, it might not be immediately... It might just be a journey and a process for you to probably, you know, heal, you know, or change this mistake, which you probably didn't know was a mistake, right? To so you, like, I'm just tired. I'm not in the mood, but ah, a lot of times it's not easy on the other end, right? So let's try to do better. Let's try to meet our partners halfway to make life easy for us, right? Um, on this, um, on this, we're coming to the end of the show. But please, before I come to the end of the show, don't forget. Um, Hangout with Soul Spice is coming soon. Um, you might want to check my page, Sex Talk with Soul Spice, or send a DM. You know, it's just a hangout. There's nothing really about it. Once you get there, you know what will happen, right? Um, what happens there stays there, right? You are only allowed to take pleasure home, but nothing else, right? Um, we are planning a very erotic date for ourselves, right? 
and that I'm, go I'm not going to be discussing where location. It's going to be on the mainland. Though. Mainland, mainland, no story. Mainland, mainland. We start on the mainland, and probably next year we move to the island, right? So come hang out with me. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. We'll talk. Let's talk the kind of stuff that we cannot talk about here. Now. Okay, people, see you um, same time, same station next week. I can't wait to be with you. Um, don't forget to um, follow us at Tech Talk with Soulspice. Follow up at This Is Pop Central, the only TV station that pops next to your TV screen. Do not forget to stay by the station to watch every other um, show that comes up. Remember, this particular episode will come up again on, I think, Thursday, Sunday, and Monday, right? Same time, same station. So if you have a friend who didn't watch or you have your husband who was not at home, right? As at, you know, if let's say you're watching on the Thursday, right? As I when I did, which is today, I just stylishly just put it on this channel. He is there, or just be just you don't let him go in tattoos. Just use that, put it so I can listen and watch, and you know, unconsciously just help him pin out his own mistake. Like, ah, baby, see what they're saying. Is that true? Is that what you do? Mm -hmm. You know, no be fight too. I don't say go and fight your husband. No. Or go and say, see, they're talking about you, shameless man, you cannot come. That's not what I sent you. There are ways to um, pass across a message to the person that even the person will not see it as an insult. Instead, they will take it with their full chest and they will smile. So, do you have a static night till I come your way again? I remain your one and only Hannah Jonathan, aka so Spice to Sex Express. See you again. I love you all and have a very static night under this rain. Don't, rain, just, don't just waste this rain. Anymore. Go out, go out, go out and do something with it. Love you all. Bye.